possible absentee was brilliant forward Peter Lambert. Because yesterday, Peter from Art Finnan married Natalie Ahern from Care, and today, as the game was in progress, Peter and Natalie were flying to their honeymoon in Naples. It was a surprise that Declan Brown did line out because the brilliant young forward who scored seven points last Sunday was in hospital all week. Great news for Tip that he could take his place only a fortnight before doing his leaving search. Now, this first score of the game fell to John Quain, the Limerick midfielder. A thundering half volley inside 14 seconds. So if Roberto De Matteo of Chelsea could score in only 43 seconds, Quain did it in 14. John Owens of Tipperary followed with that well-taken point. And then it was Declan Brown's turn to get one from play. He'd already got one from a free, and that sweetly struck point by the teenager leveled the scoring at Tipperary three points, Limerick a goal. Limerick could take their points too. That one was put over by their captain, Ed Walsh before young Declan Brown transferred to Sean Maher, who'd filled the midfield vacancy. Maher looked up, had composure and accuracy. Great work here by Tipperary centre-forward John Owens. He knew that the flight of the initial delivery would beat him. He ran on well, had support to his right, but had the confidence to go for that goal. It was a tremendous strike by the former New York and Leitrim player. But back came Limerick. Their full forward, Pat Galvin, kept them in touch with that neatly taken point from the right after receiving a good pass. However, at this stage of the game, Derry Foley was a growing influence for Tipperary, and he went through and drove over a fine point. One of their most experienced players, of course, is Brian Burke, operating today at left half forward. And after missing a couple of chances, Brian, too, found the range. And so, at half-time, after Pat Galvin had got another point for Limerick, it was Tipperary 1-6, Limerick 1-3. Derry Foley laid down a marker for the second half with this storming run and splendid finish. By now, Brendan Cummins had come into the Tipperary forward line in place of the injured youngster Declan Brown, and he put over a superb point. And yes, it's the same Brendan Cummins who plays in goal for the Tipperary hurlers. But to keep Limerick in touch once again, a neat point by Derek Ryan. Although scores would be hard to come by for the Limerick men in the second half. Derry Foley dropping in a good ball to right half forward Mark Sheehan. And Mark Sheehan got his name on the score sheet. The star of the show in the second half was undoubtedly Brendan Cummins. Here he goes again, getting another of his points. He got eight in total, including three frees. A chance of a consolation score for Limerick in the last minute. Damien Reedy's penalty, magnificently saved by Martin Quinn Livin. Reedy nets the rebound. Final score, tip 117, Limerick 2-8.